So you drive there, you and whoever's left, you Cole Montez. Now if I'm in your shoes, I'd be thinking about my friends. I'd be wondering what I could have done differently. I might even be wishing it had happened to me and not them. So you get to Kafarov's villa, ahead of the main forces of Russians, ahead of everybody. Not everybody. Dima was there, wasn't he? And you made a decision. You made a fucking momentous decision about your life and your allegiance. About how much you're willing to do for your country. You don't know anything about the decisions I had to make. Tell us what it was then. Convince me. We split up to search the villa. I was alone. Do not do anything stupid. This piece of shit right there stole three nuclear devices from Russia and sold it to a man called Solomon. Solomon's using the PLR. He has at least two targets, New York and Paris. He is using public transit to move the weapons. He's going to detonate the New York device at Times Square very soon. This cannot happen. We can avert war between our nations. Just two of us. No politicians. No money changing hands. Just two soldiers speaking the truth. Help me. Help me to do this. That's it. I have to leave now. You don't shoot him. Millions will die. Get down on the ground! I said get down on the ground! That's it, I have to leave now. You don't shoot him, millions will die. Get down on the ground! Remember, do whatever you have to do to stop Solomon's plan. So you admit to shooting your commanding officer under the direction of a Russian agent, is that correct? So unless you have something else significant to share with us, Sergeant, this investigation is over. You have been played. It's the Russians. Oh, it's Solomon. Haven't you listened to anything I've been saying? You want us to believe that there's a PLR threat and Solomon's at the head? Yes. To believe that you acted in the best interests of our nation when you let a Russian agent go and shot your own man. But we can't. Nothing can be corroborated. This is insane. No one can verify the third nuke even exists. The bank collapsed. Al Bashir's dead. Your unit is dead. Dima's presumed dead. Kafrov's dead. 80,000 French people are actually dead. Those are all your witnesses, Sergeant. The only thing we can say happened for sure is you fragged your CO. Bring him in. You saw this man shoot his commanding officer, right? Just knock off the bullshit, Sergeant. Didn't Dima set you up? Didn't he talk you into shooting Cole and then escape to Paris where he triggered the nuke? Wasn't that Dima? Solomon has the nuke. Solomon is one of ours. He is an overseas asset, and he has been for years. We put him next to Al-Bashir for information. You are shitting me. He's a murderer! You saw the video! Well, you get the good with the bad when it comes to assets, and sometimes sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Isn't that your angle? Jesus Christ, the nuke is still out there! Solomon's still out there! 
You can't just walk away from the threat. You might be right, Sergeant. Maybe Solomon was too close to the fire, but I assure you we are on top of this situation. The Russians are a clear and present threat. Yes. What do you mean you lost a train? Solomon's using the PLR. He is an overseas asset and he has been for years. He uses me and he uses everyone. He said, get the bombs. 80,000 dead. We can avert war between our nations. Well, the blast yield matches Russian suitcase nuke specs. We've secured what appears to be a WMD. Wait, there's room for two more. How many portable nuclear devices did you see in the bank vault? Where the hell are the other two? The 14th of this month. We got maps of Paris. New York. He's using public transit to move the weapons. Suleiman will strike! The train map inside the bank vault. Uh -huh. What was the time written on it? Um, 6.02. Why? Dave, you trust me? Oh, yeah. All right. Follow my lead.
Were you alone? Huh? Who are you with? Huh? You're good, soldier. You are good. What's next? Uh, I'm not afraid to die. How about you? Ah, uh, help! Radiation is like life, a uniquely damaging event. Perhaps I will live another 30 years. Perhaps I will die tomorrow. I am telling my story here, the story of how Solomon used power-hungry men like Al-Bashir and Kafarov to set fire to the world. And the American Marine who, like me, chose the hardest path of all. But I have no regrets. I have always served Russia trying to make a difference. Sometimes I was forced to make difficult choices. 
Many lives have been saved. Many have been lost. I am certain Moscow does not view it in the same light as I do. But enough is enough. As Vladimir would say, you can only die once. Make sure it is worth it.